Ini dunia seni murni Di dalamnya mengalir sungai seniman Yang mengalirkan dalam diam Minat pekat dan bakat syarat Dia riuhkan personal rasa However, batik in design And as a painting medium Is a confluence of various cultures That is synonymous with our identity As a multiracial cosmopolitan Singapore It is indeed a timely initiative During this challenging time To remind us never to give up On this note, I would like to congratulate and convey my deepest appreciation to the master artists presented here today and it is now my pleasure to declare Lakar Lilin open. Thank you. Have a pleasant evening. My name is Sujak Rahman. If my full name, of course, is Muhammad Sujak bin Abdul Rahman. I was born in 11 January 1949, and now I'm at 72 years old. I start to paint when at my age. I mean, when I start to do batik, actually, when I start to do batik. Uh, at the age of uh, 25, 25, yeah. So from there, I continue, but take until now. When I start batik at that time, batik was uh, quite popular in Singapore among of the artists, for example, like Sarkasi, Thomas Yeo. There are a few more, Sia Kim Ju, all this and that. But And the thing is that I see that they are batik. Uh, some people or some guests complain it will get paid. So from there, I said, why, why must batik be paid? So I do my own self research and study all about batik. Even I go to Indonesia to know because I understand that batik can be washed. But why at that time that Singapore artists never wash their batik and then it fades or it get mold. So when I do research, then I found out that you have to apply the fixer, all this and that, and different type of dye. Because at that time also, during the 70s or 60 plus that they they do batik with of course another type of dye for example like indigo all this and that but then it people keep on complaining fading so i do research on on it uh okay i stay in japan also right I'm staying in Japan for five years and I found out and tried to do research also while I will be there. And because they they are very interested with our batik because that time our batik, I mean, I got some students say that, oh, I can be washed. I say, yes, of course. So when I go to Japan and try to look for their batik, their batik also the same, that they are not washing. They just to remove the wax, they use steam, all right? And they also is not able to do like what we are doing. For example, like say, uh, we can do overlapping and transparencies types of batik. So, well, but the problem, the thing is that I interested with Japanese batik because why? 
they they never call batik actually right <coughs> they call it uh, aizome puyon different different parts of the country they call different way of doing and i very interested because at that time also i try to do more research on batik uh, regarding about the dye or the wax what they are using so it's very interesting because why they also can do very fine work but the problem that only they are not washing their batik but indonesian batik is much more fine also right but indonesian can be washed and can do everything that we need to know about indonesian batik and compare i think indonesian batik is the best i think as an artist right <clears throat> i think that to be a, i mean everybody will be very happy to say oh i am an artist i am an artist but to me if an artist without producing the work i don't think that you are an artist all right artist to be creative and hard work and to produce the art work itself because if you just produce this is what happened even in japan all right uh, there's a famous artist in, in in japan which i know he also get angry because why they just put something rubbish like that oh i am artist and artist so but never produce other work how can you say that you are an artist without producing work correct so to me i feel that way is right because why you don't feel that you know when you say that you are artist you are very glamour no to me no artist is the worst and the hardest work to uh, to fight for your living but only because of your thing that you want to be an artist so you have to produce your artwork without producing artwork i don't think that you are an artist Actually, my work is more to humans, right? Humanism, study about humans. So, in in my painting, I always say that why is the question is why. For example, like say, uh, or my feeling itself, right? So, people sometimes think why should you draw uh, woman figures? So I tell them that is not woman, all right? It's a human. So they say, why the face like a woman, all right? Because that is only the mask of a human. But so that is why I don't portray it as a woman or man. So it's a mask of a human. Uh, yes. Before yes, I, I was. Before yes, when the time when uh, batik, so I pick up batik, and some some of them will say, uh, the Japanese, all right. Even the Japanese will say, oh, hanger, they call it hanger. Hanger means it's a craft, all right. So I ask them in Japan, I ask them, can you? define to me what is craft and what is your fine art all right so i say so if your chinese uh japanese painting all right the calligraphy or the uh what's that the chinese painting uh, uh, japanese painting itself uh let's say the woodcut right or they say that is also hanga that means your craft i say what well, what is the difference and then what what is your one is a fine art all right for example your oil painting all this and that so they cannot answer you see they cannot answer i said if you do only that is only the media all right the medium that you are using to me i explain that way only the medium that you are using oil or acrylic all right and this japanese painting they are using ink and color dye all right so the same as batik but only how we present it 
as an art. So to me, I tell them craft is something that is function, all right? Something that to be used on what you are doing. So that is craft. But you are doing it as a wall hanging, as a, just people to admire of your work, only just see, all right? So that is something that is art, I say. It's not functional, non-functional. So then they just keep quiet to me. I like to introduce now the new way of doing batik, all right? It's called, I like to call it Tomasic batik. I don't like to say Singapore batik. It's too straightforward. So it's much more better to say Tomasic batik because of traditional and modern. I feel in that way to form a new way of doing batik. So, and I also so I hope that in future, or now, all right, we don't stop at this stage. I want more artists to join to become batik artists and so that uh, it's been recognized that Singapore also have, you know, that we have batik artists which is uh, producing a new style of work or something like that, you see.